Today we're going to go over some general info about the Ford transponder rings. In front of me here I've got a few different ones. This one they use on like 2011 F-150s, some Mustangs. This gauge cluster is from a 2013 uh, Mustang 5 liter. The off frame a bit there's a 5 liter engine control module. And I've got a Pat's ring here with a programmed key. So right now, key's off. You'll see the theft light blink once in a while. Um, now we're going to turn the key on. The theft light should turn on for three, four seconds to turn out, make an annoying noise. That key's programmed. And what you want to look for if you have like an anti-theft problem, we'll put in this one with the white mark on it, which is not programmed. Key on, annoying noise, rapid flashing theft light. So that can mean a lot of things, whether it is your key isn't learned, if you swapped your modules and it's not paired with everything. Um, that can happen if you replace your PCM and you didn't do a parameter reset and key relearn. It can happen if you replace your gauge cluster and most likely some other modules I'm forgetting at the moment. But if you have a flashing theft light, you know, and you replace one of those, you're going to have to get a mechanic, dealer, someone with a special tool to come and, you know, do the relearn for you. There is, this thing is passive. It's an antenna. Like this thing, you can swap these things out and it won't make a difference. So if you need to buy one, you know, and you buy one from me, nothing needs to be done. You just put it in and the thing will go. So let's go back to that program key just to demonstrate because seeing is believing sometimes. Okay, so just to verify, light goes out, that one's programmed, we're all good. Now let's unplug this transponder ring and we're going to plug in this other one. And I'm just going to see if I can hold it in the ring. And let's turn the key on again. Light goes out, programmed. And let's grab that unprogrammed one again. Key off. Key on, rapid flashing. So all good. And one thing is the boards on these things are very similar, if not the exact same. So even this one that looks considerably different from an earlier model Ford, it might work. What do you think? So let's put a programmed key in. Actually, so these two were programmed. This one with the white is not. So let's see. Let's hold that in there. Let's turn the key on. Yay. Yeah, you know, let's go with the unprogrammed one. Not programmed. And you'll actually get that as well if you, you know, are able to turn your ignition on with no key in there. Or one without a chip. A few things you can look at. Um, God, that's making a lot of racket. Or if you're having a problem. So there's four wires that go into these things. There's a, I don't know what order it is offhand, but so there's going to be a ground, obviously, and a key on 12 volt. So you can, you know, put your key on, back probe this thing, see if you got voltage there with the key on. If you don't, look for a fuse, look for some bad wiring, because if this, if the ring isn't being powered, it can't, you know, transmit the data from the key to the gauge cluster to see whether or not it has it saved in memory. So hopefully that helped you. you need to buy one of these things. Let me know. They're pretty cheap. You know, 20, 30 bucks most of the time. Um, and again, this is specific for Ford uh, transponder rings, Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep. Um, the older ones I know work a bit different where they actually store some info inside the ring. But as far as Ford goes, this thing is just an antenna. You can swap them out as at your leisure and that's all for today